Hello fellow Star Wars fans, it's Star Wars here and welcome back to another Star Wars Resistance review. Unfortunately, we have just two more episodes to talk about with Star Wars Resistance, not just with Season 2, but with the entire series as a whole. We are closely coming to the end here, and well, this episode is Episode 17 of Season 2 titled Rebuilding the Resistance, where we have Vanessa Doza, and she returns with the Resistance to the Colossus. She needs them for support on this mission where they go to Dantooine to get new recruits for the resistance. Unfortunately, this planet is blockaded by the First Order, so it's up to the Aces to team up with the Resistance X-Wings to get those guys free. And of course, Tam Revor is involved. She is now squadron leader, and she is damaged in her TIE Fighter in the fight with Kaz and with the other Aces. And we do see the defeat of the Lieutenant of the First Order. So a lot goes down in this episode. So breaking out of things I liked about this episode is first off, Jade Squadron. This felt so much like a Rogue Squadron level from the old video games. Like you have the escort mission, you gotta free these people, and then the Star Destroyer comes out. It really felt like a video game to me, so I really enjoyed that. Seeing the reunion of the Dozas, and this was a thread that we had hanging there since the mid-level of the, the midpoint of the season. So to see them address that um, this far into the series is is something that was very nice to see. Now, hopefully, we get something with Kaz's parents because that's been going on since episode one of this entire series. I do like the state of the galaxy. How Vanessa mentions, like, yes, there's a lot of people that have been scared into letting the First Order take over their governments. They haven't really put up much of a fight because they do not have much hope at all. I do like seeing the surface of Dantooine. Now, I think this is the first canon look at the surface of Dantooine. We actually seen the planet of Dantooine in Star Wars Rebels, although they didn't get a close enough look at the surface. So to see this look like the way it did in Legends and Knights of the Republic, you have that kind of like tannish grassy farmland and it almost looked like there was like a jedi enclave the way it looked like uh we had these really cool shuttles uh also as well that were the ones transporting these resistance agents so i really did like this episode a lot of great dog fighting this season has had a lot of awesome dog fighting with the aces with the tie fighters and just overall seeing what this series is turning out to be and it's just a little bit unfortunate because I'm getting kind of the feeling that there could have been a season three of this series because this looks like the absolute turning point for the Colossus and now they accept the Resistance. In fact, they are the Resistance because they are directly supporting the Resistance according to Captain Doza. They are going to be using that as the fuel station for Jade Squadron and it's just sad to see because this seems like it's really going to be where this series ramps up and it's called Star Wars Resistance and we haven't really had ironically enough a lot of the resistance in this series it's been a lot of okay these are a people that are resisting against the first order they're not particularly part of the resistance unless you count Kaz who really has just got into the resistance right at the start of this series so we haven't seen the resistance proper which is probably the thing that is weighing negatively the most for me towards this entire series as a whole because we have just two episodes left for the two-parter the escape next week this is going to be it guys we're going to have one more episode to talk about star wars resistance but i'm sure these characters will live on forever in star wars with the ancillary material with the comics and with the video games and with the books and all that good stuff so make sure you are subscribed to this channel so you check out my thoughts on the final episode for Star Wars Resistance and do come back and check out the rest of my content which can involve everything from the comics, the novels, the other TV series like the Clone Wars. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel because I will be talking about the Clone Wars so I want to make sure you guys get to know my feedback if you liked what I had to say about this you'll feel right at home with those plus I did the entire review of the Mandalorian series as well, so you can go back and check those out. So that's going to do it for me, Star Arthur. What did you guys think of these episodes? Let's talk about them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you always. Thanks for checking out the video. Please hit that thumbs up symbol. It helps me know that I'm making content that you guys enjoy. And if you enjoyed this video, I also include two videos down below you guys should check out. And please consider subscribing to this channel. It helps support me and it notifies you guys of when I get new videos up on the channel. You can also contact me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Star Raptor.